All right, so today we're going to be talking about dialogue, which is not the most fun topic to discuss, uh, and it's not the most fun topic to be taught. But I'll try to make it as painless as possible, because if you're going to be writing a story, it's pretty important that you get it right. So primarily you're going to use dialogue, which is uh, speaking, usually characters speaking to one another uh, in your narrative, in a story that you're writing. So what does dialogue look like? It might be something like, he said, you are awesome. I am. She asked. Yeah. He said. So we're having a conversation here. The things in quotations are what is being said, and then we have these things out in front that are telling us who said what. It helps us keep track of the conversation. Um, so how do you do it? Let's learn some basic rules about how this works. The first rule is that we have to understand what a speaker tag is. It's pretty simple. That is the speaker tag. The tag that's telling us who the speaker is. This doesn't always have to be there. For example, he said, you're awesome. I am? Yeah, he said. We could probably figure out that it's not the same guy. And if we knew beforehand that this was a conversation between two people, we might be able to tell that this was the second person. Um, but a speaker tag would clarify in, in times when we need clarification, uh, who is the one speaking. Okay, so when I say speaker tag, that's what I mean. Okay, the first rule we need to learn is how to uh, structure it based on whether it's a fragment or a complete sentence. You are awesome is a complete sentence. Okay, here's a different example. The best sport is not a complete sentence. There's no verb there. And so what's different about the way that we punctuate this sentence versus the way that we punctuate this sentence? How are our conventions different? And there are two things that are different. Number one, if you have a complete sentence, you capitalize the first letter, as in the Y there. You are awesome. The second thing is that you add a comma. He said, if it's not a complete sentence, there's no need for the comma and there's no need for capitalization. And maybe a way to remember this could be CCC. If it is complete, then use a comma and capitalize. All right? This is a complete sentence, so use a comma and capitalize. This is not complete, so there's no need for a comma or capitalization. Okay. Second thing, uh, or like the third thing we'll talk about is punctuation. And we talked about it a little bit already. Uh, but there's some other punctuation that we should know, and this is where it gets really complex. The speaker tag can go in one of three places. It can either go before what's being said, after what's being said, or in the middle of what's being said. I like her, he said because she's cool. So what do we do here? Well, let's put quotes around what's being said. So the quotes tell us what is actually being said, and then of course this is the speaker tag. But the problem is, where do these commas go? Where do the periods go? We wanna get these right, because these are wrong. General rule is that commas and periods go inside the quotations. 
if they're coming at the end of what's being quoted. The exception here would be this guy. Uh, well, it's not really an exception. This isn't going at the end. So, um, But this is the way that you would structure it if it was falling in the middle. And the way I remember this is this is basically the exact same form as this. See that? And this one is the exact same form as this. So you have the comma coming before the quote, and you have the comma uh, inside the quote. And so this is honestly just something you have to memorize. It makes sense to put the quotes around what's being said. You'll always put a period inside. The tough one is the commas, because a lot of kids do this, and then get rid of that, and maybe even do that. To me, that looks weird, but if you got to remember you put a comma, because this he said is breaking it up. This he said is breaking this sentence up, so we need to uh, show commas for the interruption. And then it always goes on the inside. Okay, so that's one of the tough things with punctuation. I'll teach you one more thing with punctuation that you need to know. Um, she's new? He asked. Now, this is a question. So do you put the question here? Do you put the question here? If you put the question mark there, do you need to do that? And here's the answer. You do need to put a question mark here because this is a question. You do not need to capitalize that because this is all the same sentence. In the same way that you wouldn't need to capitalize he said here. Okay. The same thing would be if uh, apply if it was a exclamation. She's new! He screamed. Okay. Now the trickiest thing that I'll give you here is something that you'll probably very rarely see. A sentence that is a question, but what's quoted or the dialogue uh, within that sentence is not a question. Can you believe that he said, I like her? Ooh. Can you believe, alive, believe he said, I like her. Now this is tough. I like her is not a question, so you wouldn't want to do this. This whole sentence is a question, so you'd want to do that. But does that mean you should do this? And the answer is no. You would leave that on its own. There's no need to have two bits of punctuation at the end like that. Okay. So let's review these rules, because these are a little bit complicated. Rule number one, we got to know what a speaker tag is. He screamed, he asked, he said, um, any of that. Number two, we got to know if it's a complete sentence or not. And if it's not, there's no need to capitalize or use a comma. But if it's complete, capitalize and comma, CCC. And then the punctuation, understand that the speaker tag can come at the beginning, the middle, or the end. If it's at the beginning, you have a comma right before the dialogue. If it's at the end, you have the comma inside the quotation mark before the speaker tag. If it's in the middle, you have this weird structure that you're just going to need to know. Okay. And then if you have an uh, interrogative sentence or a question sentence, you need to be able to determine whether or not the whole sentence is a question or whether just what's being asked is a question. And punctuate accordingly. Let's do a couple examples. All right. Having already requested a two week extension, how could the copy editor possibly say, I'm going to need a little more time? Great example. 
This whole thing is a question. This middle is not. This is a complete sentence, so we need to capitalize and use a comma. You shouldn't have gotten a dog if you didn't have time for it, Steve's father gently pointed out. Okay. Remember the comma goes on the inside if it comes before the speaker tag. Would you happen to know why my doctor advised? Take some extra vitamin C before your surgery. This is a complete sentence inside, so we need to capitalize it, use a comma. This whole thing is a question. It's on the inside is not, so we've got to get rid of that. Is there anything in life so disenchanting as attainment, mused author Robert Louis Stevenson. This is our speaker tag. This is a complete sentence. It is a question. If you have a question mark, there's no need for the comma. Da Vinci considered mechanics the paradise of the mathematical sciences because it allows for the practical application of theoretical concepts. Da Vinci considered mechanics the paradise of the mathematical sciences. This is not complete. If it's not complete, you do not need capitalization and you do not need comma. In one of his novels, Thomas Wolfe calls America the one place where miracles happen all the time. Again, this is not complete. So there's no need for capitalization or comma. And remember, the period always goes inside. During her annual performance review, Lila's supervisor told her that she had exceeded expectations. This is not a complete sentence. So no capital, no comma. The label describes this coffee as rich in hazelnut overtones with a sharp floral bouquet. Again, this is not a complete sentence. And they did a good job putting the period inside. And we've reached our daily practice limit. But if we hadn't, the chief business of the American people, said President Calvin Coolidge, is business. This is the speaker tag coming in the middle. So what we would do, if we could do it, is we would need to make this lowercase. This is correct, but there needs to be a comma at the end here. And then this period always goes inside. Okay, so as a quick recap, we need to know what the speaker tag is, fragment or complete sentence and punctuation. Uh, if you need to watch this again, please do. Getting dialogue is important for your narrative. I want to make sure you get it right. All right, thanks.